Okay guys, so this video is about how to create a, a small data set and how to reduce your do file so that you can submit it to the research or the scientific trading zone group. So now I have like, you know, the entire file from Matthias uh, using this as an example. So I have the data set here and here I have the do file. So I'm going to start by double clicking the data file uh, and trying to open in uh, Stata. First thing that I get here is uh, it's just saying that the memory is uh, it's beyond the memory. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check how big this file is. So it's about 29.6 uh, megabytes, closing this. And so I'm going to set the memory for uh, Stata to be, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to give it some more memory. I'm going to say 50 megabytes. Okay. And then I'm going to try to open the data set again. And here we go. So I got, I, got, I got the entire data set. Now I'm going to open the script. So I basically do, I'm on a Mac, so Command O for open, and then go to the do file and um, open it. So you know, this entire section, big section here, let me just confuse this. So this entire big section in the beginning here is not relevant at all. I don't know that. So I'm just going to, you know, erase it. This, uh, also this path, uh, you know, all of this is just to say that, um, you know, this is just set up for the analysis itself. Since I have, you know, I'm not interested. So my goal here is just to fix the problem that Matthias has. Uh, you know, I'm not running the entire analysis. So what I am going to do is I know that, you know, the things that are of real interest to Matthias start in this line here. So the trend test comparing pri uh, uh, against primary. And what I'm going to do here is just to put, you know, a bunch of letters uh, so that, you know, the, the, the script will generate an error uh, whenever it gets to this point. And I'm going to save. So you're, you're going to understand why I'm doing this in a second. So now I have the data set, it's loaded, and I have the script that starts uh, like, you know, running on the data set, and I put a stop. You know, I could have written whatever here, it doesn't need to be, so this is basically the stop. It's a command. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the, the analysis. Now, as you can see, when it got to my, you know, VVV stuff, it basically stopped, okay? Which means that the data set at this point is exactly the data set that I want. So what I'm going to do is to say uh, file, save as, and then I am going to call this the um, test set. Could be anything. Oops, not this, sorry. Uh, here, file, save as, yep, I, you know, before I was just saving the do file, now I'm saving a stata data file, and I'm going to call this the test set, and I am going to save it, okay, now the, this is the data set that I would basically upload to Google Docs, um, and uh, uh, for, for the other people. So basically now what I need to do is to clean the, the, the do file. So everything up to this point is not going to be relevant for the people who are going to help me. So I just, you know, erase this. everything after here. So basically, you know, here he's starting for some reason, uh, you know, he's uploading the data again and doing all the things. I don't know exactly why, but this is not relevant for this analysis. So now, um, you know, what I have here is, and I'm going to save as, save as, and as you can see here, now I'm saving the do file, which is the script, and I'm going to call this the test script, save. Okay. So now, uh, these are the two original files. This is the test data set, this is the test script. And now with this information, I can basically just, um, you know, send these two pieces 
to uh, to the uh, scientific trading zone usually I would attach the script and I you know if the file is too big I would um, uh, I would uh, create a subset of the data. Now, another thing that you could do to simplify things even further would be, let's say that, uh, you know, for the models, the only thing I need is total oper uh, reoperation, I need year, uh, and I need all of these variables. Basically, what I could do is uh, to come here and, you know, select the variables that I don't need so, for example, I'm not using ID, I'm not using, uh, well, I am using LOS. Uh, so, select all the ones that you are not uh, using, and basically I select them by clicking on Command, and uh, then the variables, and then I right-click, and I drop the selected variables, okay? Now, if I were to do this right now, so I'm, I'm just going to do this with one variable, okay? So... Just erase this. So let's say I don't want ID, the ID variable. Okay. So I basically just click here. Uh, then I just right click and I say drop ID. Are you sure you want to drop them? I say yes. Once I have dropped all the variables and I have kept only the variables that are necessary, okay, um, then I can save the data set again and only send the, the, the variables that are, are of interest. This will create a smaller data set that you can attach. So basically then, you know, if I had a smaller data set, I would just select these two, right click. Uh, in the Macintosh, you basically do compress two items. Uh, in a Windows, you would say something like zip. Uh, in a Linux, you know, you can use a command or right click. Uh, and then I have a small enough data set so that I can send this to other people. Bye.